In the mornings, usually my girlfriend will get up before me and I will lay in the bed because I don't feel like getting up. <laughs> I will come out, wash my face, and then go and start making coffee. And she tells me that whenever she hears me rustling in the bed, my girlfriend gets super excited because she knows that coffee's coming as well. She does not like making it for herself because she knows that I put a little bit more extra time and effort into making it. It's a fun repeated task, a ritual for us to just have something for ourselves in the morning before anybody else. And I love doing it. So at home, I have my ritual. And then when I get to tap room, I am a part of everyone else's ritual, which is kind of great. I'm a barista and the events guy. I've worked here for four years. Four years, I think. I lost count. <laughs> I usually work the noon to seven shift. We don't do drip in the afternoons, so I like to just take a little drip for myself that's left over and just see how it went from the morning. Dial in the coffee, make sure it tastes right for the espresso. Look at the shelf and see what coffee's gonna be selling or not selling. Yeah, and then get, get, get busy. <laughs> Coffee culture, when I first started and first looked into coffee, was very intimidating. Not many minorities in general, but I was pretty determined to just keep at it. Now it's changed a ton, and I feel like Taproom was one of the few places that was welcoming to me. I like how coffee can showcase a place we've never been to before. How often do you think about Ethiopia? But you go on your shelf and you say like, oh, Ethiopian, you know it's gonna be bomb, so. I think sometimes I feel a little like a fraud in coffee, because I don't know a ton, and maybe I make a mistake here and there. But I'm starting to realize in general, just being a face and being welcoming is good enough. Learning that coffee can be a craft and a big deal in the community it's very exciting to me.